one of my Patreon supporters sent me a roll of protopasta stainless steel PLA. I want to try and print with it and then see if I can buff it up and make it shine. And then I want to follow up with a trick using a Sharpie and some clear filament and see if we can make our own color. Stay tuned to see how it goes on today's Filament Friday. So I'm going to use the chess pawn from my beginner's guide to 3D printing book and you can get this on Thingiverse and I'm going to use this for all my little experiments today. I received some protopasta stainless steel PLA from one of my Patreon supporters, Roy Olmsted. He wanted to see how it would print. Now over time this type of filament will wear out a standard nozzle so I needed one of these plated brass wear resistant nozzles from protopasta. Well, it turns out Joe Telling, 3D printing nerd, sent me a sample of one. I installed it on my maker front printer that has an MK8 extruder, and it fit perfectly. So I loaded the pawn into Simplify 3D and set it up for my maker front printer. And then in edit settings, I chose a 0.2 layer height. And then from there, I chose four perimeter shells, four top and bottom layers, for temperature. A 70 degree bed, 195 degree extruder, and then I did print with a raft on this because I wanted to make sure that this protopasta would stick. And 15% fill, and then I clicked on prepare to print, and it said 32 minutes, 1.3 meters of plastic. So now let's send it off to the printer. Now that it's printed, I got out my buffer and I've got two different types of rouge or rubbing compound. One's a red jeweler's rouge and the other one's a white jeweler's rouge. So I put the red on the smaller wheel and went to work just on one side of this. I just want to show you the difference on one side of this pawn. So I went back and forth a little bit, went up to the top of the ball, and then I put the white jeweler's rouge on the bigger wheel and buffed it to a, a better shine. And once I was done, this was the result. Here's the bad side, here's the original side, and as I turn this, you can see it gets smoother and more polished. So now all I need to do is buff this out some more and finish the whole pawn. And here's the results after 20 minutes of buffing. The one on the left is fresh off the printer, the one on the right has been buffed for 20 minutes on the wheel. Now I didn't sand any of this, sand it smooth like some people do, which maybe I should have because I'm still seeing the lines obviously, but they get really, really shiny results but put a lot more work than 20 minutes into it. But just 20 minutes of buffing, I'm amazed at how much better this pawn looks. It just smoothed right out and it shines. Even the picture here does not do it justice. So this is definitely worth using. I'm really impressed with the way this stainless steel filament works. Now let me show you what I did with some clear filament and a Sharpie. So I got out a pair of pliers, side cutters, and then I took the Sharpie and I pulled it apart with the pliers. And all I had to do was just clamp on, wiggle a little bit, and this thing came apart. Now inside was this foam or cloth soaked in the red ink. And it was plastic covering so I didn't have to worry about getting ink on myself until I cut it. And this wasn't the sharpest side cutters I had so it was a little bit difficult to get through but what I was basically doing is squeezing ink out and without knowing it it was going all over my finger. But once I had that now all I need to do is poke a hole in the center of it and then I can run my filament through it. So I went and got some rubber gloves because I didn't want any more ink on my fingers. And then I found a piece of electrical wire, housing electrical wire. And I just trimmed the edge of it so it was pointed and sharp. And then just took the little piece of ink foam or ink cloth and just pushed the wire through it and poked a nice hole for the filament. Now I was ready to put on the printer. I loaded the clear filament and then I slid it through the Sharpie section and it started coloring the filament right away. This looked like it was going to work, but I got to run it through the extruder and then we'll see how this thing prints. 
so I just ran it down the extruder and then I just pushed them out by hand. I already had this heated up. So I just pushed them out by hand and I could already tell that the color was changing a little bit. So this should be interesting to see how this prints. And here's the pawn being printed and you can see it's not consistent all the way through. It's got still some translucent color to it. So it's really like a translucent red. I had hoped it would be more solid but this is still interesting. It was fun to try. So this protopasta stainless steel PLA filament really impressed me. It not only buffed up nicely, it printed really well. And it stuck to the bed extremely well, what PLA typically does. But I was worried about having, having that much metal in it if it would affect how it connected and how it flowed, but it didn't. It, it printed like normal PLA. And the way the thing buffed up, it's just amazing. I know if I put a lot more time in it, I can get it to shine a lot better. I've seen people do some amazing things with it. So this stainless steel PLA, I know there's other brands out there. I'm going to have to try them out because this can be a lot of fun. And if you're willing to put the time in to buff it up, I think you can make some amazing prints. Now, as far as the Sharpie, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping that it would come out a little darker. Now, this isn't a fresh out of the box Sharpie, but it was drawing pretty well. And it still didn't really color the plastic. It didn't flow as much as I thought it would make it darker. Another thing is the first time I tried it, I tried some ABS clear uh, plastic that I had, filament that I had, and the Sharpie actually attacked it and it, it cracked. It would just, you could see cracks forming and it would just break apart. So I went to the PLA that uh, XYZ had, and this is some older PLA I had lying around, but it seemed to handle it, so that's why I used that. So be careful if you try this. I don't know if it's just the type of plastic I had. It may not work with all filaments. I don't know, but overall, I think it's a fun thing to do. I just don't think it's that practical. But it was a great experiment to try for both of these. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from this channel, please subscribe. I'm getting closer and closer to that magic 10K number. I'm approaching 9K at this point. Still got a ways to go, but I'm getting there thanks to you. And if you want to support the channel, a dollar a month to my Patreon account. It really helps keep the channel going. I try to put extra material up there, video blogs and text blogs and just information I find to keep my Patreon people happy and make sure you're getting your dollars worth. So please join us there. I want to keep this channel growing. If you can't afford it, understand. If you don't want to do it, understand that too. Filament Friday will always be here and be free. But it keeps the channel going. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.